Right then guys, the second Sierra Cosworth this morning, uh, the first three door over there, I've just done that one. And uh, right, I sort of jumped straight onto the Sapphire, four before Sapphire, obviously. Uh, so there we go. Just, um, just a real genuine straight car, guys. That's the vibe that I'm getting from it anyway. The paperwork backs that up as well. Uh, the current vendor has known the car from you. Three owners, I believe, or three former keepers, whichever. Um, not concours, just straight. It just gives off, you know, just that vibe, really. Um, yeah, just a straight looking car. It's obviously had a little bit of paint here and there, I would think, um, but not bundles. I've got exactly the same car on a, oh, I think, hang on, I think mine's on a J. Um, in white, same thing, black leather. I'll tell you the nicest thing about this uh, is when you open that door. And you open that door and it smells right. I know that sounds a bit silly, but those that are watching this video uh, who have been around the job a bit, they'll know. And yeah, it smells right. Oh, we've got a key in it. Let's see if we can start it up. A mobilizer, bear with me a minute. Pull the bonnet. Original radio, original amp. Uh, no excess wear anywhere, really. Dash is quite acceptable. A little bit as they do, they go a little bit wavy, don't they? But door cards, let's have a quick look round. Door cards, minimal wear on the seat, that'll just colour back up again. Seat belt will retract properly, that's it. Bin number in there as it should be. Carpet's good. Door cards, good minimal there that bit there you always catch that with your foot with your shoe always yeah quite is frustrating but that that'll come back you'll be able to warm that and come back and pull that back up that one hasn't shrunk that one's good oh I'll just pop the boot while I'm here uh, we'll pop the boot and we'll pop the petrol cap while we're here quick look in there that's it no overspray around there or anything that all looks nice Boot lid's good, look at that. Boot lid is proper, that's nice there. Spare wheel in there. Tell me please there's a jack behind here. Let's have a look. Yes there is, with the wheel brace up the end of it as it should be. It's just little things like that, just little things. The all, yeah look at that floor, floor's all really good. The all form, uh, um, you know, a bit of an opinion on the car. Yeah, four's good. Plastics on the lamps and things in there in the back are good. Yeah, so overall there, the remains of the sticker there. But that's absolutely bang on in there, isn't it? You can't ask for more than that. No shrinkage on that door car. Oh, just minor. It's a little bit there, just wants warming up and just pushing across there, look. And again on that one, just wants warming up and pulling back on there. And then your rubbers, or I don't know, jig the other week, I found a box, well, I found four boxes. I thought, I wonder what they are. Only four brand new window surrounds that I'd, uh, rubbers that I'd bought years ago for my car, because mine's just starting to bubble up. But this is quite acceptable there. Look, a little bit of a bubble there, next to nothing there. Yeah. Said to the missus, do not lose them. Yeah, that's acceptable, and that's just a leaf. Yeah, that's acceptable there. A little bit on the end there. But again, a lot better than most. And their mouldings are nice and straight. They're not, you know, as you see when they've been on and off, they're nice and straight down that off side. Let's have a look down the near side. Yeah, same down the near side there, look, moulding to straight. In fact, while we are here, let's have a quick peek underneath there. Yeah, that sound of it, from what I can see. Bumper there. Right, pop up in this one. Come on, there we are. Yeah, and as you would expect, look at that. 
everything pretty much as Ford intended. Numbers there look on that wing. Numbers on the slam panel there. Obviously still retaining the correct stickers and bin tags. And then let's just have a quick look on that one. Yeah, there you go, we've still got the numbers on there. There we are. That's level, isn't it? The vendor is adamant that the mileage is right because he's known the car from you. So would make an exceptionally nice car with just a little bit of paint and a little bit of time. Failing that, it's just a real nice car. <laughs> but yeah, you wouldn't have to um, you wouldn't have to go crazy. And it's white, so it's easy, isn't it? To make it quite a wow car. But you make it a wow car, you don't use it. You won't go out in it. Yeah. Just do a couple of little bits of paint on it, give it a massive machine polish and a clean. I have to put a set of mud flaps on it, I'm afraid, straight away, and then have some fun with it, use it. And more importantly, if you start off with the right car, you can never go far wrong. That just there, that floor up there, just uh, surface stuff on there. That one's flaking back, doesn't it? And under ceiling and treating. So there you go, guys. Hopefully, that's given you a bit of an appraisal of the car. That's my appraisal. The next step is to. Um, come down and, and have a look for yourself. I think we've only got a couple of Sierra Sapphire Cosworth in this time and one Sierra Cosworth. Um, so the market softened slightly, which makes them, in my opinion, makes them a, 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 as good a value as they've ever been really. Um, and everyone's aware they've just softened off. The, the second little very short video about the Cosworth. Um, I've just finished it, just turned around and noticed something extremely important, which is all the paperwork that I set out 10 minutes ago so there we are um, there's quite a lot in each of these folders so you have to look through there and MOTs and so forth so we've got basically everything we've got the uh, the Tate Leeds original wallet there the handbooks service book there is mentioned in the description RAC membership book there you are so service book security book audio books so forth they're all there the membership books the original uh, I assume it's going to be the original Tate the lead supplying uh, booklet and so forth there and lots of other paperwork accordingly. All of which you'll be able to view and I stress you do view when you come down to view the car. Thank you.